Good afternoon. Uh, this is Pastor Eric here from Central um, doing our daily check-in and see how things are going with everybody. <clears throat> Today I am doing this check-in from our sanctuary. And there's a couple reasons for that, and you'll see as we move on today uh, what's going on. But one of the things that I have been hearing, as well as some others, is that we are really longing to get back to our community. We're longing to get back to our church and to be together. And unfortunately, we also know it is going to take a while for that to happen. Uh, we just heard earlier today that the governor is going to be issuing a, a stay-at-home uh, document. And so even here at the church, we're going to be having to stay at home and do a lot of our work and a lot of our prep um, from our own houses rather than here in the sanctuary and the church. And so that's one of the things that we are starting to deal with, but we still are a community. We still belong in this place. And as you can see, it is empty right now, except this is can sell. Even if we can't be in this place at this time, we still are a community. We still have the opportunity to pray for one another. And I invite about possibly uh, joining our Central Lutheran Prayer Praise group on Facebook. Um, and so you can look and see about joining that because what we're doing is every day lifting up prayers for our congregation, lifting up prayers for our community, lifting up prayers for our world, which we basically really need to have these days. So it's that opportunity to come together as a community and pray for one another. Um, and so Central Lutheran Praise is the group. If you're interested, go ahead and look for it uh, and then request to join and we'll get you in there. Um, but yeah, community, that's really what this is a longing for that I've been hearing more and more. And I'm not surprised because we are so used to being able to gather with one another. We're used to coming to have fellowship. We're used just to popping into the church and saying hi to people. And we don't have that opportunity right now. And so we have to find new and creative ways to have community together. Um, we will be making phone calls to people to check in and see how they're doing. But one of the other things that I wanted us to be able to do and remember that we are community is um, we are a community that comes together at the altar. We are a community that comes together at the pulpit where we hear the word. And so what uh, we did is we went and we printed out every name of every member or family in our congregation that is associated with it. And we went and we put them all on our altar. And so you can see a little bit here, all of the names we have covering the entire altar. And this is to help remind us that we are church and we are together. We also went and we came over here and we put all of these names as well that are extra uh, from our altar that we couldn't fit on there. We covered our pulpit with all of our names of all of our families and those associated with the church. And also we have some right over here as well on the lectern where we also hear God's word. Because we are a community. We are a community that gathers together around this table where we are blessed with God's gift of faith with God's gifts of grace as we receive communion, as we are able to celebrate one another that meal that means so much for us. And we also are able to gather around the word, to gather around that life-giving word that God gives us as a community and unites us in his body. So no matter what is going on in our life, um, we are part of this community. We are part of this church. We are part of this body, and that will never change. So no matter what you're going through, no matter the struggles that you are facing, always remember, you've got this huge community of all of these people 
who are praying for you, who are supporting you, and who love you dearly, just like God does. And so today, it's about community. And it's about the community that we have in this body this community that loves us and forgives us and checks in on us and will continue to do so no matter where we go and no matter what we do. So will you pray with me? Holy and gracious God, we give you thanks for this community, for this body of Christ. We give you thanks for gathering us. Even if we can't gather together in the same place, we gather around this altar. We gather around the pulpit. We gather around your word and your meal. And we do so knowing that we are loved by you. We are cared for by you and we are forgiven by you. So bless us this day with your spirit and unite us all in your love. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me today. I'll have another one up tomorrow. A lot of our posts from now on are probably going to be coming out of the house uh, because of the new uh, stay-at-home guidelines that are coming. But uh, we will do what we can, and we will continue to stay in touch with you on a regular basis. So have a blessed day, and I'll be talking to you later.